and finding the growth rate from a table and using that to write an equation. So for each problem today, you are going to fill in the function for each table. And below each table, you will write the growth rate, the y-intercept, or figure zero, and the equation for that table. Here's the example that we're going to work through together. What you are given is you're given a table where x is 0, 1, 2, and 3. So notice your x values go up by 1 every time. So from 0 to 1, you're going up 1. From 1 to 2, you're going up 1. And from 2 to 3, you're going up 1. So think of that as going from figure 0 to figure 1 to figure 2 to figure 3. Then what we're going to look at is we're going to look at the y values and how they change. Well, the y value when x is 0 is 1, so that is figure 0. From there, the y values increase by 4. So notice in the table that we've drawn in the growth rate from one figure to the next. This is how many tiles you are adding to the previous figure. So that's your growth rate. We also want to know what the y value is when x is 0. So the y value in this table, when x is 0, is 1. That's the value at figure 0. So what we can do is we can go down below the table and we can fill in that information. The growth rate is 4 because you are adding 4 to each figure as you move up a figure. The y-intercept, or figure 0, is 1 because what we circled in that table is when x is 0, y is 1. Figure 0 has one tile. So you'd put a 1 underneath the table for the y-intercept, or figure 0. For the equation, remember that we can write it as this, y equals 4x plus 1. The number you multiply by x is your growth rate. Or in other words, as we move from one figure to the next, how many more tiles are you adding each time? The plus one, that is the y-intercept, or in other words, how many tiles are in figure zero? Or how many tiles do you start with? What's your starting point? That's also where your line is going to cross the y-intercept, or the y-axis. So, let's look at the next problem. So scroll down on your Chromebook to the next problem below the example. So here's our function table. We have our x values and our y values. Notice that as x goes up by 1 each time, you want to look at what happens to the y value. From 1 to 4, we are increasing by what amount? 1 plus 3 will give us 4. 4 plus 3 will give us 7. 7 plus 3 will give us 10. That shows us that our growth rate, right here, is a 3. Your y-intercept is the y-value when x is 0. That's this part of the table right here. Our y-intercept, or the amount of tiles at figure 0 is 1. Now we can use these to come up with the equation. y equals something times x plus a number. Well remember, the number you multiply by x is the growth rate. So that's going to be 3 times x. Plus this number, the last part of our equation, is going to be how many tiles are in figure 0, or what is the y-intercept. So if you go back to your table, that's going to be a 1. So our equation is y equals 3 times x plus 1, or 3x plus 1. Now you can use that to fill in the function. Up here, for the, when x is 0, I'm going to do 0 times 3 plus 1. Well, that's 0 plus 1, so we get y equals 1. Over here, we're going to do 1 times 3, which is 3, plus 1, which is 4. 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 1 is 7. And finally, 3 times 3 is 9, 
plus 1, you will get 10. So it works. Now what you are going to do is you are going to use these examples to complete the rest of your classwork. You can also look back at this video for notes um, as you complete your math homework tonight.